Hey guys, your girl Chica D with today's strawberry letter response. I didn't say today's strawberry letter response and mad long, so here we go. So this lady writes in, she said she recently moved to the city that her boyfriend lives in and her boyfriend wants her to move in with him, but she's not sure it's a good idea. She said currently she's temporarily staying with her aunt and uncle until she can find a place of her own. So he's uncomfortable spending the night there, but she's saying that he probably wouldn't even be allowed to spend the night anyway. She did not say how old she was. She did not say how old he was, but she said he has a lot going on at his spot. She said he fixes and washes cars at his house. So there's always a lot of males there. She said his older uncles also like to visit and hang out to all types of hours of night. And it interrupts her, right? So she said when the Olympics was going on, they stayed there every single day, hung out till like two o'clock in the morning. She got to work in the morning. She stayed with him. She stayed with him for three weeks. And so she was like, it was not good. She said he also has a cousin staying with him that's his age and she doesn't know what's wrong with him she thinks it'll be rude to ask but she knows there's definitely something off because he's always yelling at the tv in his room she said when she can she walks by and she closes the door but again another thing she said his she said her boyfriend is a hard worker and he comes to bed smelling like it she said it wasn't this bad when she should just come visit but maybe the, the smell is stuck in her nose or something but it's difficult when they're ready to be intimate he smells like oil and she said no matter how much soap he uses the smell just does not go away so she says she takes what she can get she said saturday night they were trying to get it on and his uncle stopped by she said it was 1 a.m she said his cousin who lives with him opened the door and let him in and the uncle came in the house it was pitch black she said walked to the door opened the door to see if they were awake and caught her in a compromising position that he said he'll never forget she says she's now embarrassed to even see this man ever again so now she's thinking if she would make she'd be making a mistake if she moves in with him or is she making a, a mistake even continuing to date him I don't understand like after everything that she wrote in this letter the fact that she's still even considering moving in like asking if it's gonna be a mistake you're there for three weeks and you're miserable why would you want to live there what exactly do you think is gonna change if you live there that's crazy to me because it sounds like a madhouse the way you described it so I don't understand why you want to live in that environment anyway with that smell with the cousin like you said is a bit off we don't know what it is and people just walking in and out the house first of all if his cousin lives in the house I don't know why I don't lock the door when I was trying to do the naughty dance but I also don't understand why somebody would come in somebody's house at one o'clock in the morning and open their bedroom door to see if they're awake like who does that and you're thinking about actually moving in would it be a mistake ma'am what it's a mistake you even been there for three weeks and yes honestly speaking i don't think it makes sense for y'all to be dating he clearly needs to get his shit together and you know me i'm a firm believer that sex is not the most important thing in a relationship but it's still important and it seems like you guys can't even have sex either he smells bad or somebody's walking in or whatever 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 make it make sense and yes you don't have your own place right now because you're with your aunt and your uncle so your place is not a viable option but even if you had a place do you want him to be over there all the time because it doesn't make sense i feel like either you need to move in with each other somewhere else or just not gonna work but the fact that he works out of this home makes me feel like it might be like a family home or something i don't know but i don't know how old you are in my head because you're even considering moving in i want to say that you're kind of young but no i don't think this relationship is going to work 
you can try to move in and be even more miserable than you are because i feel like right now it's like you're visiting for three weeks and it's like all these horrible things have happened but if you move in there permanently it's like this is your new address like this is your life daily that's it i mean I, unless you're trying to save money nope nope relationship is over don't be with him i hope you didn't move into his city because of him because that would really suck because I would feel like maybe you should have visited long term before moving to the city with him. Or make sure your relationship was solid enough before moving to the city for him. But if you just happen to move to the city, which I don't think is the case. Even if you think it's the case, it's not the case. I don't think you would have moved it if y'all weren't dating. But yeah, it's going to be a no for me. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. I, I don't think so. I think she needs to just cut out losses. Which is not much. And just go. Because no. Alright y'all bye.